If you like Eggs Benedict, you're gonna love this dish. Toasted English muffin, crispy bacon, savory roasted tomatoes, and perfectly poached egg. All topped with a delicious, no fuss hollandaise sauce. Trust us, folks. This dish is so good. It's no yolking matter. <laughs> <laughs> yolk, yolk, yolk. Ah, those are great. I've been waiting to do this just so we can say that I, yolk of a joke. I know. It's so great. So, uh, you guys, <gasps> do you like Eggs Benedict? Because we do. We do. And but we're, I'm telling you, this gives Eggs Benedict a, a run, run for, the for its money. It's yeah. really good. Okay, so let's get into it. So, first of all, roasted tomatoes are a distinct uh, component of this dish. So, I'm going to get these going. I have got. So, good. so when you roast tomatoes, <coughs> If you haven't Pardon done me. it, what it does is it really concentrates that delicious tomato flavor and it cooks it down. So these are, we're doing this in the thick of winter time and so tomatoes are not abundant. I don't have my beautiful tomatoes, but that's okay because like I said, they're going to re uh, reduce and they're going to be delicious. So I just got some pretty good looking tomatoes from the store. They're probably hot house, but that's okay. That's all right. We're um, roasting them. You can use Roma tomatoes. Those are nice, but I just, so you want to do nice thick slices and I've got, we're doing we're, we're going to do one, one serving, serving cut that half. we're going to cut in half for the two of us. I know you're going like, you're only doing one serving, but <laughs> normally we would do, uh, this would normally serve two people and they'd get each two sides per helping, if that makes of sense. Of the English muffin. Of the English muffin. Yes. And, and everything. So I've got English two, muffin. I've got four very thick slices of tomato because they are going to roast down. Oh. And then I, I brushed a little olive oil. I put a little salt and pepper. And now I've just got some fresh chopped thyme that um, we are going to top this with. That's Perfect. just going to add flavor. I've got bacon. I've got four strips. We're going to put two on each half. And then we've got uh, another, one, another tray here that we're going to put the... Uh, tomatoes on. So we're to spray it real quick we are, so they don't I, stick. I love to bake um, my to, my bacon. I like to bake my bacon. Bake your bacon. Because it's just so easy and it, more than anything it just makes cleanup easy. Unless you're real, I mean you know you can save the bacon grease. Obviously <laughs> like we said we're just doing a little smaller portion for ourselves. If you're going to do it for two, uh, two to four people then you need a larger baking dish. Uh, but put foil on there because it really makes it easy clean. We've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to let those are thick cut. Did you say they're thick? No of course you didn't. <laughs> they're thick cut slices of bacon. and. Uh, I said bacon. Bacon. But then we're going with the it's thick. It's always thick cut in our house. I know. That's a given. So, so we're going to do a thick cut uh, slab applewood smoke. If, so that takes a good while for it to bake in there for about 30 minutes. Yeah. And the uh, the tomatoes take about 30 minutes. Perfect. Um, if you're doing thinner bacon, just keep an eye on it. It's going to not take 30 minutes. Probably more like 15, maybe 20. You don't want to burn it. Okay. We've talked enough. When we're, we're going to talk enough. We're, I've talked enough. We're going to come back. Stop yoking around, will you? We're going to come back uh, shortly. And we're going to make our super easy holiday sauce. You're going to flip when you see it, and we're going to poach our eggs. Yes. Okay, it's coming together. We got a we got a breakfast kitchen going. We are on. set or, up. We are brunching it. Okay. <laughs> so now what we are going to show you is some really fun techniques for making perfectly poached eggs and super easy holiday sauce. No double boilers are, are needed at all for yes. this. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is I went ahead and and um, for, in the luxury of time or in the F, in the what am I trying to say? Uh, to try to save some time. I went ahead and cracked a couple of eggs. Now you want to put these in little what was containers. That? I'll tell you. Right. You want to put these in little. I just happen to have these little vintage uh, mugs. I just think they're fun. Coffee but you cups. can put coffee cups. You can put them coffee cups. You can put them in little containers like this because we're going to drop these eggs and we're just doing two because this, we're doing a smaller version. You can do up to four. You want a nice large vessel like this. This is my old sturdy uh, Dutch oven that I've had forever. It's, it's, it's for seasoned. Ever. And uh, it is but it, it, you want it nice and wide because we're going to do something called the swirl. So let me tell you what I did add on here. I added just a little couple of drops of white vinegar. Yes. That just helps the uh, the whites of that yolk stay together. What this is, if you've ever gone to like a cool like, can you see me through all the steam? Um, <laughs> it's so <laughs> mystical. Is that it, you see those really wispy like fun uh, whites with your poached egg. This is going to give you a very close. Um, a very close version of that. So now we're going to start. This is called the vortex method, and I am going to start. I've got just a good old wooden spoon here. Can I I'm, vortex it? Real quick? Yes, please do. And so that's great. So now what we're going to do is, and it just makes it all nice and wispy. Okay. So now that that's good. So when, when you're good, that's good. We got the water going now. One at a time. We're going to drop that in, 
And now I'm going to drop this one in. And if they kind of touch, that's okay. Now we're going to turn off the heat. Oops, sorry, go ahead. And I am going to set my timer for three minutes. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> we got three minutes. Three minutes, minutes folks. Three minutes, no heat. And look, you can see they're already starting to form this beautiful little ball. Yeah. Okay. Now. So now let's you make some holidays. Delicious. No fuss holidays. No fuss. You're not going to believe. If you haven't seen us do this, you're going to say, why have I not been doing this in my life? <laughs> I've got four eggs that I'm going to throw in here. I'll take these. Yeah, there you go. For uh, egg yolks, not the whole egg. Yes. Because this is no yolking matter, as Chris has told <laughs> That's us. That's right. Several times. We're going to complete milking that. I've got three teaspoons or tablespoons of lemon juice. Throw that in there. Yum. Then a half, uh, a tablespoon and a half, I think I'll do. Of, a teaspoon. Oh, a teaspoon and a half of salt. Mm -hmm. And then a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then I've got a quarter teaspoon of uh, cayenne. I was like, what is that? Not too much, though. I'm going to move this over here. Perfect. And, and I'm just going to give this a quick blend. Blend. There we go. Just want to mix it up. Yeah. Perfect. And that starts to thicken it out. I should have been doing this a little bit. So what did you do here, Chris? We're going to let this. We've taken that oh, off the heat. Look at those, y'all. I know. They're beautiful. So we've taken that off the heat. And um, they're just going to sit there. You were mesmerized by me making holidays. I was. It's something I don't see very often. <laughs> and um, anyway, so here we have got a stick and a half of butter. It wouldn't be hollandaise. It's, it's, it's French, folks. It's so good, It's so good, And it's so easy. I mean, I was, the first when I first did this, I was like, I feel like I'm cheating. And I am. But it, the, the taste <laughs> is so good. So you do that. That kind of um, gets, the, it starts to thicken up the egg yolks a little bit. Yes. And now we just want to get this nice and warm. Uh, it's going to be melted. And you want to wait and do this pretty soon before you're going to be serving because the, the hollandaise, it may thicken up a little bit on you, which you can thin with a little bit of uh, warm water. Um, but we've got another, what, uh, 10 minutes for our All right. tomatoes. Hold on now. So now I'm going to kind of do this so that it doesn't splatter. So everywhere. this warm water will cook the eggs. Oh, sorry. Cook the eggs enough. And you get a little splatter action. That's okay. Can you see us pouring that in? You can move that. Wonderful. And I think we're good, yeah? Yeah. Let it go, let it go until it starts to thicken wow. up a little bit. Okay, I think that is good. I'm is gonna, it great? I think I'm going to show everybody. I think you should. Oh, here we go. Oh. Be careful. Yes. Turn we've had that, we've done, Wesley's done this before and we had hollandaise all through the ceiling. <laughs> or in his hair. No. Well, that's it been a right. while. That was a long time ago. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, you, oh I thought you were going to show it from the top, but that's okay. No, I'm going to pour it in here like this. Oh, yeah. Take the lid off. That makes that easier. Yeah, that. <laughs> Y'all, making holidays, actually making eggs Benedicts makes me real nervous. There we go, everybody. Look at that. That's Yum. Beautiful. That is perfect hollandaise sauce. Mm -hmm. You need a little spatula to help get the rest. Now, no, again, it's going. This it's makes going. a good, this makes enough to make, well, for, to feed two to four people, which is the equivalent to us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now the buzzer Yum. just went off. So this has been going for three minutes. You don't want, I've got, you want to have yourself at the ready, a bowl of just warm water. I just nuked it in the uh, microwave for about two minutes. This is what makes me nervous. I know. It, it is a little nerve wracking, but you want to get yourself a slotted spoon. See, isn't that pretty? And you're just going to put it in that warm water. It's not going to cook it anymore, but it's going to keep it warm. And uh, that yolk should be really nice and yolky. Now, if you don't like your poached egg to be super yolky, you know, like runny, then um, <laughs> let it go for three and a half minutes and then you're going to have more of the soft yolk. But um, that Yay, is good. Oh, you guys, it's so much I'm fun. I'm telling you, it's fun, but it makes me. It, my nerves are just on well, edge. Well, that, that's why you serve, make yourself a Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, idea. okay. All right, so I've got an English muffin here that I got to go toast because I got to make it ready for this eggs blackstone. That's right. And we've <laughs> got a few more minutes for our tomatoes and our bacon, and then it's time to just bring it all together. Okay, so everything's coming together. So it we've is got coming together. our beautiful bacon here. After about 30 minutes, it was perfectly crispy and nicely done. So we took it out of the oven. I just put it on some paper towels just to quickly drain. These were nice, big, thick tomatoes. So we let them go about another uh, 30 yeah. minutes. Uh, sorry, five minutes. So they've been going about 30. Oh, minutes. those are great. They really, oh, they're so, oh, the smell. I and love I, the got, smell of roasted tomatoes. Got those, yeah. and then I've got the toasted English muffin. So, we, so we're, we love our uh, 
Bacon first. Oh yeah, yeah, bacon first. You're right, thank you. Bacon. Thank you. I like, uh, give me two pieces, please, cut in half. I'm gonna, so we, we do oh, them kinda like, yeah. um, like Lincoln Logs. <laughs> totally. Um, Yum! The, the flavor combination of the, I mean, now we're not messing around. You're gonna see why we're saying, oh, okay, maybe one per person is enough. Cause we really, I get a little of this. We're gonna do two. Nice. Nice. Oh. Just be careful with these cause they become. You sprayed. Really, really tender um, when they roast like okay, that. Okay, okay. Now I just need to make a bed for your, I'm just gonna kinda <laughs> push it down, get those juices flowing. Okay, now be careful. No, All I right, gotta, now, I like I said, we've kept these eggs nice and um, comfortable in this uh, warm bath and um, just use a slotted spoon. <laughs> and this is always, the, this is the part that makes Wesley really nervous, but just gently. Gently, gently. Place it on. There it is. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, all right, quickly make yours. Yeah, let me get mine going real quick. Bacon. Uh, bacon. Now, one thing I want to say about this hollandaise sauce is if, like I said, we let these tomatoes go for another few minutes just because I wanted to get them really nice and toasty. Uh, your hollandaise may, it may thicken up a little bit on you. That's perfectly normal. All you got to do, save that warm water that you to post your eggs in, add like a tablespoon, and it just, it turns it perfectly right back into the... Exactly what you want. All right, let me top mine. I feel like I'm. You're just talking. I feel like I'm at Top Chef. Like, I know. Not Top Chef. Where did you used to work? Happy Chef. Happy Chef. In for a what? brief moment in time in my teenage, it was my first job I ever got out of high. No, I was still in high school. Yeah. And it was called Happy Chef, and they put me on the line. Okay. I bet you didn't do this at Happy Chef. No, Chris. I know. The flavor of this, you guys, is just, wait. just amazing. And this is one of those dishes that you serve. I mean, it's like oh. eggs benedict. It has that wow factor. But I love the, the roasted tomatoes. Sure everybody can see yours right here. There you go. The roasted tomatoes. Now save a little of that um, extra chopped thyme, just to put a little on top there. It's delicious. It's also beautiful. And I'm gonna put some pepper on. Do some fresh cut oh, pepper. Oh, you guys! Do you want some pepper? Please. And you're gonna yeah. save that extra piece of bacon for me? For, yeah, just for yeah, in case we don't have enough. All right, guys. Wow. We did it. That we is, did it. <laughs> this is. He was nervous. Yoking. We're not yoking. Okay. We are not yoking. All right. All right. I mean, let's guys, yeah, Let's break into that. Here goes. I'm gonna just gently. This is one of the most the the, the most fun things about brunch is breaking into that yolk. Hey guys, see. Oh, here we go. That's perfect. Here we go. Yum. <gasps> There she goes. There she is! <laughs> it's like a pinata. Oh, you guys. An egg pinata. Okay, now, now I can't, now I'm just messing this up. Yeah. Now, now it's time just to break yeah. into the masterpiece. Good and crunchy. I, know, I got I, that good and toasted. It really did. All right. There's so many aspects of this that I love. Wow, wow, wow. Ready? It's nice and warm, so. Yeah, oh, hold so on. Excited. Oh, I gotta get off. Oh, hold on. You gotta get some of that roasted tomato yeah, on Yeah, I got the tomato, I got the bacon, I got the, I got everything. Ready? <laughs> hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Eggs Benedict, you better step up your game. Wow. Wesley is a brunch-aholic. I think you could live on brunch. Oh! And uh, ah. this is the ultimate brunch. You guys, it's all about that roasted tomato. tomato. And the and bacon. And a perfectly poached egg. A perfectly, yeah. and, and the, and the, the, and the, the, and the holidays. And the holidays. Holidays. Um, holidays. I mean, like, obviously a Eggs Benedict is Canadian <sighs> bacon. The just regular bacon is. Uh, no, the, what's happening here is the flavors of this, I think, are are much better than just your regular egg egg minute, Really, you think yeah. so? I think so. All right, I'm, I'm sticking a huge piece in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Things heard at Christmas mm. last week. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That is amazing. <laughs> that is... I'm gonna say it, 500,000% Luna wow. Fruit. We don't get those very often, you guys. 
Chris, everything about this is just I perfect. Know. It's, it's a and little. And it makes a wonderful mess. It does. I was going to say it's messy and, but it's wonderful. and that's good. Oh. I, I, we're going to sit here and. and yeah, we're going to eat the rest of this. Do you mind just sitting there and. <laughs> Look, come on over. We'll, we're, it's going to take us a while to eat all this. We'll make another batch. <laughs> yeah. You guys, we hope you've had a good time. We've enjoyed making eggs blackstone for oh, you guys. Oh, y'all. Make it. Have your friends over. It's so much fun. Take pictures. Put it on Instagram. I was us. nervous, but I'm not nervous anymore. No. No. There's no need to be nervous. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a big yolk. All right. Can we stop talking and eat? <laughs> Quit yolking around. All right. Bye, bye. everybody. We love you.